Since its very beginnings, most architecture has been about visible expressions of power. From the Norman castle to the corporate tower, it's all about being seen. But things are starting to change. As we become more aware of our environment, some architecture is now about not being seen. It's about camouflage. On Phillip Island in southern Australia is a house which seamlessly blends in with its environment. As you approach, you see nothing but sand dune. Even when you realise there is a house here, you still see the ocean through massive glass walls. Your gaze is constantly pulled outwards towards the coast. You're in a house, but at one with nature. From the beach, the dark concrete blends in with the black rocks. It's a pretty special spot down here right on the water, and I was trying to do a house that didn't sort of scream out at you when you either from the land or, or from the beach. I was very conscious of the fact that, that when you are down on the beach a lot and you look back, look, look back at the land, how, I suppose, disappointing it is or annoying it is when you look back and you see a whole lot of two-storey houses sort of crowding along the foreshore. Essentially, although it appears to be dug into the ground, in fact, it's actually almost at, on the ground surface and then the ground has been mounded up against it all around a courtyard. Cost-wise, it's a pretty expensive thing to do. It's all about minimising impact on an area of natural beauty. It's accepting that nature is just as interesting and important as anything man can build, and far more enduring. There is definitely a change, a sense, in, in young architects. They're much more interested now in environmental issues than we, we were taught to be, I guess.